Ladies and gentlemen, today I want to bid a very special and pleasant International Cooperative Day to all our cooperative pioneers, stalwarts, activists, regulators, directors, officers, members, and stakeholders, especially to those who partake in activities which have the potential to improve our St. Lucian people through the spirit of cooperation. This year is the 102nd anniversary of International Day of Cooperatives, which is commemorated every year on the first Saturday of July. It gives me great pleasure to be involved with the cooperative sector, and hence the reason I ensure my voice is heard in celebrating a model which is alive and dynamic a model which thrives on the efforts of the human resource of our nation. The essence of my personal and ministerial role and efforts is to influence continuous support and encourage direct and indirect recognition of the cooperative movement as we combat challenges that appear to be never ending. In February of this year, four of our cooperative societies were given government support in facilitating 93 vendor members to benefit from a collaborative effort with the Ministry of Equity in accessing COVID relief income support. During April and May this year, our Small Enterprise Development Unit at the Ministry collaborated with the Department of Cooperatives, which is also in the Ministry of Commerce, in lending support to cooperative members in accessing the MSME loan grant facility. The Ministry of Agriculture, Export St. Lucia, the St. Lucia Marketing Board, and I, as the parliamentary representative for Soufre Fochajac, were instrumental in reopening the Bellevue Farmers Cooperative Society limited. This assistance extended to rehabilitation of the premises, erection of a pack house, financial support, rehabilitation of greenhouses, and sustaining semi-voluntary labor in the short term. Our government continues to celebrate the milestone of our cooperatives post-COVID as we made contributions from the Republic of China, Taiwan, a grant which had its first tranche labeled a progressive support. Three fishermen cooperatives have benefited from a grant of $275,000 for converting to solar energy. They have evidence of new infrastructure, replaced energy efficient equipment, solar panels, and obtaining NOC certification. All are much needed rehabilitation to our complexes. The Department of Fisheries under the World Bank project is also currently sourcing ice machines for all our 10 fish landing sites, home to our eight active fisher cooperative societies as well. Another milestone is the ray of light presented to our Miku fishermen who are moving forward in re-establishing a fisherman cooperative as they celebrated the erection of a much needed jetty not too long ago. Grant funds were also accessed under the World University Services of Canada by Bellevue Cooperative to recommence the sale of seedlings to farmers. Other agencies such as the Supra Regional Development Foundation also made contributions to cooperatives impacting the lives of many farmers. In keeping with the intention of International Day of Cooperatives, which identifies how the model makes life better for all, our credit unions, together with the Department of Cooperatives, the Financial Sector Regulatory Authority, the Ministry of Commerce, along with the Attorney General Chambers, and our non-financial agricultural service and fisher cooperative societies have been very involved in the review and editing of the Cooperative Societies Bill, ensuring that the legislative requirements, reviews, and edits 
maintain the intention of the cooperative enterprise model. This bill will be presented to Parliament shortly. I am aware that our fisher cooperative subsectors were unable to celebrate fishermen feasts, the Feast of St. Peter, in the usual grand way, due to inclement weather. The reality of the aftermath of Hurricane Beryl is that our fishers and fisher cooperatives suffered major losses in fishing vessels and equipment. As a government, the Prime Minister and I, the Minister for Agriculture and other parliamentary reps have visited various sites and are working with our fishers and cooperatives at this challenging time. This year, 2024-2025, four fisher cooperatives will embark on their own conversion journey. That includes infrastructural works, electrical assessments, and audits. Financing and co-financers are currently being identified. Further assistance through loan financing and donor agencies are the mainstay with strategic plans currently being considered. Our cooperatives are challenged with their resilience as they aim to motivate the general public on the benefit of this resilient model. My government recently reinforced its mantra of putting people first in lending further support to licensed fisher folks, boat owners, by increasing the fuel rebate to fishers by $1, which brings it to $2.50 on every gallon of fuel purchase, up to a maximum of 6,000 gallons, with effect from the 2nd of August, 2023. This is proof of our commitment to improving the lives of our fishers. We recently convened gap analysis sessions with our taxi and transport cooperative subsectors to further understand their needs and to understand where there may be potential for collaborative solutions. Groups are approaching us for registration which impact the elderly, the differently abled, and the cannabis industry. I am pleased to echo the voice of the International Labour Organization, United Nations, and other cooperative organizations worldwide, as I wish the cooperative sector continued success and greater cooperation in building our cooperative movement. The contribution of our cooperative movement is sterling to the growth and efforts of our nation. This model enshrines the tested successes of the cooperation theory used to pull people out of poverty and proven to awaken the resilience of people during times of crisis. On this International Cooperative Day, I bid all St. Lucians positive growth, greater cooperation, and greater concern for the well-being of each other as I recommit myself, humbly sustained by God, in my efforts to strengthen the cooperative movement for the benefit of successive generations. May God bless you and shine his light always upon us. I thank you.